Okay, so we have Asa here, and he's going to talk about the Any Data Adoption. Hi, my name is Asa Trainer, Director of Interoperability Products at PTC. Uh, my role here today is to talk to you about Any Data Adoption. Any Data Adoption for Creo means the ability to make use of information content, both within the Creo family, but more importantly, with information content coming from outside sources. With Creo, you'll be able to make use of data coming from third-party CAD tools like SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, and Unigraphics, and be able to use that data content in the context of Creo. We call it any data adoption. You'll be able to bring that data in to be able to use direct modeling capability to push and pull and move surfaces. You'll be able to add parametric features to that data and be able to bring large data sets in arbitrarily large data sets and use that in the context of your Creo application or for downstream use by manufacturing, by analysis, whatever. Again, the ability of Creo to be able to consume data content from foreign sources and make use of that in your Creo design environment. So is Creo going to be able to pull in, say, a feature tree from another CAD platform, or is it just going to bring it in as a sort of a dumb solid or a dumb surface, and then you can actually push and pull and modify from there? What, what's going to happen with Creo is there are three possible methodologies. The first methodology is something that we've had in, in the Pro Engineer product for some time called ATB, or Associative Topology Bus. There, we keep the master representation in the source system allows people to continue to use their uh, foreign CAD systems as they have done before. But what it does is allow us to bring that data content into Creo and then be able to build information content on it and if the data changes in the source object, be able to update the Creo model and anything that we've built on top. That's number one. Number two is you'll be able to bring that data content in, and, and, the, and the, the real problem with interoperability in the past has been the dumb brick problem. With Creo, you'll now be able to use direct modeling tools to push and pull and change those surfaces uh, as necessary to achieve the design change or what F analysis that you need for your data. The third option is the ability to use things like feature recognition technology to actually consume geometry from that model and be able to turn it into parametric features that can be used just like any other feature that you recognize from Pro Engineer. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome.